Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and definitely go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and of course when you're done with all that you can definitely go ahead and share the video amongst your family and friends but as you all have already guessed from the title and thumbnail of this video we're going to do a battle of the new concealers that are newly released from both L'Oreal and Flower Beauty. In this corner we have the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer and I did get the shade Cedar 390 and in this corner we have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer and I did get the shade in Medium Deep. We're going to go ahead and put these up head to head. On um, Pinterest and also on Reddit, I did see that although this one has a little bit more of a matte type feeling dry down, and this one is supposed to be a little bit more hydrating and luminous, once you actually set them with powder, they both actually dry down completely the actual same. You'll be able to see, are both of these concealers new concealers? Are these something you should add to your list? Are they worth it? Or is one concealer better than the other. If you're ready, you already know. Let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing really do one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a battle of the concealers. The first one we're gonna go ahead and do is gonna be our Flower Beauty The Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Medium Deep. And this is what it actually looks like. And it smells like paint. It smells like makeup, but it's not a strong makeup scent. So we're gonna do it on this side of my face. And the other one is gonna be the new L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear. This is their corrector concealer. And I got the shade 390 in Cedar. And this one, I had already opened it. smells more like makeup, like a stronger paint smell, but it's not too intrusive. And this one has a big dofa on it, like your tart shape your tart shape date concealers and also your makeup real revolution concealer define. So let's go ahead and go in here and put this on the face. And I'm gonna be using my the crayon case black makeup sponge, and it's already moistened and dampened. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in on the actual face. And I'm going to put this on my forehead and down my actual chin and right here underneath. And I'll go ahead and put the Flower Beauty on this side of my face. This one is a better color match for me because it's a more golden undertone. And this one is a more pinky undertone. And this is a smaller doe foot, but it does have an angled tip on it. So I like that because it allows you to get right up in there. And for them to be two totally different size doe they carry the same amount of product. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this side of my beauty blender and start blending this side out. That is weird. Okay. So that's a fail. You see how I went to go blend it and it took the actual concealer off? That's weird. Let's go ahead and blend this out on the forehead. Yeah, uh, I don't like it. See how it's taking the, oh Lord, Jesus. I can't, I, I can't fix that. Let's go in with the Flower Beauty side. And let's see what the Flower Beauty side does. Yeah, where I put the actual, see, it took it off of my chin and took it off right here, took it off my forehead and it took it off over here. So yeah, no, 
that is going back to the store. Okay, all right. I was trying to see if I was gonna be able to do a battle of the concealer for you guys, but <laughs> obviously not gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can fix this hot mess situation by putting the Flower Beauty down. Let's see if the Flower Beauty can fix what's going on and what's happening. The Flower Beauty did fix it, but I'm still having that. See, see what happened right there? I'm gonna take a little bit more of my foundation, which is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on in here and try to see if that'll help. I'm gonna use my foundation brush that I use to go ahead and blend everything together and see if that can help fix it. And I will tell you that the L'Oreal side, see, it's creasing a whole lot more. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that down with my Fenty Beauty. And this is my Honey Setting Powder. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brush and go into my Flower Beauty setting powder. Put it in the actual top with some of the actual Fenty Beauty. And I'll take and mix both of those together to go ahead and set the rest of my face down. And I am getting over being sick, so I do have to keep wiping my nose. So you see the foundation that's missing there? It's just because I'm still a little sick, and I just have to keep wiping my nose. So that isn't anything to do with the foundation, the concealer, or anything like that. It's just I'm sick. So for the two Battle of the Concealers, they were supposed to be kind of one in the same. This is a little bit more luminous and this is a little bit more matte, but applied on the skin and blended out, they were supposed to be setting down the same. I've heard that they formulas on um, Reddit and Pinterest that the formulas were very similar after you actually set them down. But I can tell you, this is a hot mess. It's gonna go back to the store. You saw the way it pulled up my actual foundation and everything. And this one, this one is a keeper. This one I'm definitely going to keep. I really like the way this one blended across my skin. I like the way it played well with the foundation and primer underneath. This didn't play well with the foundation and primer, and I don't have time to be trying to see what can, what foundations it will or won't work with, what primers it will or won't work with. I don't have those problems with my other concealers, so I'm not willing to work this hard to make a concealer work. So this is a go, guys. This is something you can definitely get. And of course, at Ulta Beauty, anytime you spend over $15, you can get $3.50 off. So this becomes a very affordable concealer. So this one is a go. This one is a what the heck, no. Don't even, girl, don't even put it in your car. So there we go, guys. Okay, so if you've made it to this part of the video, you've seen the... You've seen the reason why I don't cut mistakes out of my videos. I don't cut problems and complications out of my video because no matter what happens no matter if a product completely fails you it's going back to old at this point i think we already know i'm not a fan of this i'm not keeping this if it worked for you 
good, boo, I'm happy it worked for you. But it completely failed, <laughs> completely and utterly failed for me. So this L'Oreal Infallible, it did not work for me. It is going back to Ulta. I'm probably going to use that to, you know, purchase something else. But this right here, my Flower Beauty Concealer turned out to be a godsend. I'm so happy about this particular concealer. Yeah. With me leaving that mistake in my video, it gave you guys, well, not a mistake on my end. It was a mistake on a product end. But it gave you guys a chance to really see when you're doing your makeup, when something happens or something goes wrong, you're like, crap. What do I do? How do I fix this? I wanted to make sure that you guys have a chance to see how do you fix the stuff. You know, the stuff that the big YouTubers cut out of their videos and they just cut from one screen to the next screen and it's done. And you're like... Wait, what happened? What about the steps? You know, something happened in mine. I don't know how to fix it. I want to make sure you guys are always on top of your game. And no matter if you're at home, if you're traveling, or if you branch off and want to start doing other people's makeup, I want to make sure you're well equipped to not only be able to get through your makeup pretty quickly, but also if something starts to go completely left, I need you to be able to pull it back into the center of the road and keep on trucking about doing your makeup and doing whatever it is you got to do. But we've reached the end of the video and you already know YouTube. I don't care when you're watching me, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night. You know, you fixing grilled cheese sandwiches at 2 a.m. because you watching mukbangs on YouTube. <laughs> no judgment. Clearly, clearly I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming and spending your time with me. And as always, until next time, YouTube.